Hey, it's the IV Marketing Mogul coming to you live and direct. Going to do a quick video for you about how to be successful at any network marketing business. The first thing that you need in order to be successful is that you need to believe in yourself. You've got to invest in you incorporated and you've got to invest the time and the patience in order to be successful at your business. You've got to know that you can do it. You've got to know that regardless of the naysayers, regardless of the people that are out there that don't want to see you succeed, that you're going to su succeed and that you're not going to fail. There is a business out there for you as long as you take your time and figure out exactly what you want to do. You want to find a business that uh, is incorporated into your values, into your morals, that fit along those lines so that once you find something like this, you will be able to believe in it wholeheartedly and be successful in it. The second thing and the second key that you need in order to be successful at your business is you need to get a quick capture um, slogan. You want to get something that is catchy, that motivates people to take action once they, once they leave you. It would be something like this. I'm a health and wellness consultant in a trillion dollar business industry and I make a percentage of that trillion dollars on a monthly basis. You want to say it in enough time so that once you hand over your business card, you can quickly hand over your business card, say your slogan, and be out the door. That way, it captures people, it motivates people, you left them with something to, for them to take action on. The second thing, the third thing that um, is uh, going to be helpful for you to be successful at a business is to focus on one business. A lot of times as network marketers, we get excited over something that we see. We get excited over a compensation plan, and we want to do everything under the sun. So what you want to do is you want to focus on one business and be successful at that so that when people hear about, let's say, a reshaping garment, or they hear about the nutritional line, they think of you so that they come to you once they um, decide on that's what, that, that that's the type of product that they're looking for. The fourth thing that you need in order to be successful is that you need to build your knowledge of your products. A lot of times we get excited about the compensation plan. We get excited about the money. and We get excited about the potential of the business, but we have no idea what we're, um, what we're a part of. So take time to actually learn about your products. What I do is I spend about three to five days on each of the products, and I understand the benefits and the advantages and possibly even the disadvantages um, about it. I also want to know um, about the people that are in my industry as well. Who, are my, who is my competition? So that if somebody comes to me with an objection and says, oh, I heard this and this and this, I can quickly come uh, say to this, well, our um, um, added benefit or our um, product does X, Y, Z, and it cuts out the competition. The fifth thing that you want to do in order to be successful is that you want to stay connected to your upline. Your upline leaders are there to, to support you, and they're there for you, and they're knowledgeable about things that are um, coming down the pike. So you definitely want to stay connected to them. They have a lot of information, a lot of industry knowledge, and then they've been there, so they can coach you well. Also, you want to stay connected um, on conference calls. You want to um, get on conference calls that they have. You want to get on webinars, and you want to stay connected. Even if you hear the information a thousand and one times, you definitely want to stay um, connected in that way. That way, when it's time for you to uh, bring that information back, you've got the key, and you've ha you have the knowledge in order to um, um, be able to say it back to someone else. The last thing that you want to do is to have fun. This is your business. This is something that you will potentially be doing full time. So you definitely want to um, have fun in what you do uh, so that you stay in the business long term. So again, the six things are to believe in yourself, get a quick five second slogan, focus on one business, build your knowledge of, that biz of the products in your business, stay connected to your leadership, and have fun. That's it to your ultimate success. Thanks. Bye.